Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Uday Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. In this video, we will learn about basically how to do key card switch wiring. So before I start this session, I would like to request you, if you are not yet subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos. So let's get started. So basically what is key card switch? So generally this switch is used for energy saving. This is the purpose of this key card switch. Generally it is used in hotel buildings, hotel rooms. So this can be operated through card. That card be also used for RFID lock to open. So same card used for this key card switch. Two, if you insert the key inside the key card, that means it will switch on the lights. Even it will provide the power to AC, then TV, so that we can control from this key card switch. So main purpose of this key card switch is to save the energy if this is the room when we go outside that means in case we forget to uh, switch off the lights ac and fans in case we don't have this key card switch what happen it will continue run and it will consume more power that means more electricity so here what happened energy will waste it that's why we have to use key card switch so in case all fans ac and lights are switched on if you do not want to switch off it individually or we might to forget to switch off these all appliances then we can what we can do during the leaving from the uh, room just we pick up or we take out the uh, card in that case all loads will be automatically switched off in that case what happen energy will be saved so this is the main purpose of key card switch so let's start the wiring so this is for generally hotel room or we can apply to our homes as well so this is the commons generally with room db so in room db here we have a main breaker so this is the dp double pole circuit breaker this is the main breaker then we have a rccb residual current circuit breaker then we have a spmcb so this is for individual circuit we have a two then this is the main one contactor two pole contactor and no type we have a two and no point over here so this is actually and no and no point and here we have a contactor coil terminal coil supply terminal a1 and a2 and furthermore we have a for separate circuit we have a another mcb sp mcb then there are four circuit breakers so these all are in db box distribution box you can say inside the room now here we have a this is the key card switch as as you can see over here and it has three terminals l in means phase will be connected over here live will be connected over here then one n means neutral and L out means this is the output from this key card switch. When we insert the key, that means it will give the power to this L out and then it will fit to the further. When we remove this card, that means we do not have a power at this terminal, L out terminal. So this is the three terminals and this key card will operate this contactor. Generally, we do not put the direct load on this key card when we can, but for uh, only light load, we can, but for major load like AC, like KTLs, it means main heavy load, we cannot directly connect to this key card switch. So better to put one contactor and this contactor will operate, operated through this key card. So 
key card will control this contactor and from this contactor only load can be operated so now so lo all load connected will be on this contactor not on this only controlling part it will be handled so this is handling this contactor and this contactor will operate this load okay so now let's move to the wiring so here we have a 220 volt single phase power supply so this is our source it depends upon the country okay so here so these are the load which we are going to control the control through this key card so refrigerator then television then ac then light so this is for only example purpose so one thing remember that we cannot put the refrigeration item directly onto this key card switch because it continues need power supply when we remove if we uh, put this on key card operated then what happened in case we remove it at that time what happened this will switch off and it will not work so all items were damaged means wasted it will not cool the things so this is generally this is the mini bar we can say refrigeration item even we can do not use in our home for like a refrigerator so this because this needs continuous power supply to protect the food or whatever things it is inside it so let's start so this is 220 volt single phase power supply now from here let's take a phase wire this is this is the fan so let's take a phase wire so here red one is phase wire and it will connect it to the input side of this main breaker input terminal of this breaker then neutral now from the output of this it will feed to this rccb this is input side then neutral we can similarly and from the output of this rccb neutral is directly connected to this neutral bus bar so this is the neutral bus bar in the db box now from the output of this rccb it will connect it to the input of this individual circuit breaker this which is sp these two are in direct this these are not in key card switch so this this is not operated through this these mcbs are not operated controlled through this key card because we need direct power supply as well that's why i have already told you this is for refrigeration even we can measure power socket as well we can put the direct now come to here so uh, this is the contactor we have to select the ampere as per all loads which we are going to operate it through this contactor okay so this is the terminal where we can feed the power so here we can give the phase supply from there are two terminals so one term from output of this terminal we will control two circuit breaker and then another terminal another two so up to here we provided the main lines phase lines up to each each individual circuit and these circuit breakers are getting power through this contactor so this contactor now controlling this mcb now come to the wiring for this key card switch this is the major which we are focusing so here let's give the phase wire l in means phase wire so we can connect wire from here and it will connect it over here then neutral also then l out somewhere it is written load also so l y out or l load also we can so from the output of this key card switch it will connect it to the a1 terminal of this contactor so this is a1 terminal which is coil supply terminal of this contactor now at a2 will provide the neutral so from neutral bus wire it will connect it to over here so up to here what happened contactors can get the power supply contactor coil get the power supply from this key card switch it means so this key card switch is controlling this contactor okay now individually now we can feed the power so from the output of this sp breaker mcb 
so can feed the power to individual devices like ac tv then fan so these are our these all loads are on operated through this key card switch except this refrigeration item okay so let's do the neutral wiring as well for the load so suppose here this is the neutral which is connecting through like this and it will goes to every load up to here we have completed the wiring so let's see how it works suppose in initial condition in normal condition we do not have the key inserted inside the key card switch so at that time what happened power is feeding like power is feeding to this refrigeration item okay however this contactor auxiliary contact is anotype means because this is not operated because here card is not inserted yet that's why l out is not getting power yet that's why this contactor is not energized because of coil supply there is no power supply yet coil terminal means a1 so this is not getting power from this key card switch that's why that means at the output of this contactor here is also not getting power that's why these all mcbs are not getting power hence these are these load are also not getting power now when we insert this card what happen it l out means load terminal side this will get the power and it will feed to the contactor coil supply that means it will get energized means now this no terminal become nc and this power will travel to this output side and it will feed to this mcb that means it will feed the power to individual appliances like this fan lights ac and tv television okay so this is the system how works through this key card switch when we again remove this card it means power will not at the output of this l out it means this contactor will not getting power supply at coil supply terminal means it will get de-energized then it it become again break the circuit means it become again no that means this will not get a power at output that means these all mcr mcb are not getting power hence these all are turned off automatically okay so in this way key card switch works so hope you guys understand about basically how to do key card switch working and how it works so thank you for watching this video please like share comments and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos thank you very much see you again in next video